these problems? Huh? How did they think like now? You think 50 years ago they tried to make homosexuals mm -hmm. into heterosexuals? Now, one way you have done this is um, the latest book, Living with Voices. It's about people's recovery. You actually try to provide not only the stories for people's recovery, that people can recover, but also the stepping stones that you established that actually help them to yeah. recover. Could you tell us something more about that? I think that's quite important. I think um, I'm very happy with that book because uh, I was always doubting myself. Is this really helpful? Because we had a few persons. Uh, but it is, uh, if you have one uh, bird, it doesn't make summer. So although we have Ron Coleman as a very convincing person, it's still one person. And we have Jackie and we have, but now we have more seen that there are much, many more people who, and while this is sold, the, the Living With Voices with 50 voices here who were recovered, it's a base on which you can say, it is helpful. It might not help everybody, but anyhow, there is a possibility and it, it's not only a fantasy and it's not only an exception anymore. There are really many people all over the world who have been helped by this approach. So therefore, I think it is uh, also good to be more firm in our critics on other approaches. You were told the stories, but you also f found things out about their stories, yeah. which helped to establish if anybody else wanted to go down this road of yeah. recovery, these are, these are things, these are what people said helped. Yeah, yeah, the book is 50 stories, but also the information is organized in a way that you can use it in supporting people. For voiceers, they can identify with the stories, for professionals, they find information about how to um, relate to these people in order to support them to get to get to recover from their distress. And that were these ten points of being interested in the person as a person, not only as somebody hearing voices, to accept the experience of hearing voices to give hope that there are with kind like living with voices book to give hope that there is a possibility to learn to cope with it to become more interested in the hearing voices phenomenon in itself so you get more coping variation of coping strategy and more control about your voices to relate it to the fifth point is to relate it to your own life history the sixth point is then to take back power because you have given the voices all the power because they have no power themselves. Then you can make choices in life. What will I do with my life? And stop only being a victim of voices but go and make my own choices and start a new life in that sense. And therefore you have to change your relationship with the voices and accept the emotions provoked by the voices are expressing your own problems with the traumatic experience. That are the ten steps you need. Okay, so just a final question. Um, what next, Marius? What do you think is going to happen next? Uh, next we shall uh, <coughs> have, a better, have a better organization as InterVoice. But I hope to uh, make with perhaps Facebook or another to, to assemble as many people as possible who are in favor of the emancipation. Because emancipation should be done by the voiceers themselves. So we have to collect all the voiceers around the world to have enough force to say, ho, oh, this has been long going on long enough, this discrimination we should now accept and respect hearing voices in as a human variation. So I think we should ne uh, use the media, there are like uh, Facebook I think, but perhaps possibly there are others, who will uh, connect people 
and get together on a certain purpose to get more focused that it should end to discriminate them but should start to uh, to be respectful not only but to um, no, uh, a positive uh, word like a charter. To, no no to be very uh, to see the positive sides mm -hmm. of the voice here to see mm -hmm. how their musicality is constructive uh, and positive and contributing to, uh, stop this to be negative but mm -hmm. see that it's an advancement mm -hmm. for people to hear voices um, Marius, thank you very much. That was really helpful. Okay. That's a great. No, we know each other long enough, so it's a bit of a game. <laughs> <this>. <laughs>